Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. And this evening, I have another empty glass that I'm going to fill with a very, in my opinion, unique beer um, per style. Um, let's go ahead. This is considered to be a stone beer, but it's their Spotlight series. It's the Sprocket Beer. Bar, Briar, Bia, however you want to say this. Um, it's a black rye Kolsch style beer. See if the camera's going to play nice with us this evening or not. It does not. Oh, there it is. Look at that. A black rye Kolsch style. Now, there is a big uh, spiel on the back of the bottle. I will not get in all into that. Um, I guess there is just a little bit here uh, that's, I guess, noteworthy. But I, I'm just not going to go through all of this. There's just too much for it. If you really want to read the, if you don't read the back of the bottle, or if any reviewer out there don't want to just read the back of the bottle, um, Ray Beer actually has a full commercial description, which I believe is all of this in a big paragraph on um, the site for said beer. Now, let's go ahead and pop this open and uh, get into the particulars. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. Whoa, that's a lot of smoke. Make sure this ain't moving. Um, with that said, I went ahead and picked this up for $9.99. I don't know if that's that's the going rate around here for some of these 22-ounce bottles. Um, we're about to find out if it's really, truly worth it or not. Uh, this comes in at 5.4%, and here we go. And, of course, there is that black style that they were call talking about the dark color hmm i know particularly this would not be such a great glass for a Kolsch style beer but i don't have one at the moment i will be getting one uh -huh. Uh -huh. now to be honest with you it's not totally black. I'll give it that much. It's not totally black. I can definitely see a lot of mahogany color right here. Now, I know darn well if I was to be able to shoot a light straight through this for the camera, you would definitely see a lot of mahogany color like deep ruby reds, um, some browns, um, maybe even some yellows. Um, spectrum for the beer. Uh, well, with that said, look at the head. The head is that nice kind of uh, khaki mocha color. Um, very rocky, but yet very frothy. Um, it does look very smooth, very creamy. And, um, I can't, I can see tiny bits of carbonation through there, but it's just, it's too dark to actually see through. But with that said, let's go ahead and get a nose up on it. Definitely that roasted malt characteristics. Um, they do not. I'm not getting into all that. I, I don't want to read the back of the bottle. I do like the little stories every now and then just to, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm sitting there sipping on it. Might as well read it. But when I'm doing reviews, I don't I don't like to get into all that. That's that's just too much. Um, no, I don't really take these. Uh websites over here for uh granted but i really don't use them very much uh let's say right now uh i do not see any um ibus for this beer whatsoever i do see the abv which like i said is 5.4 i do see it says uh serve in shaker tumbler glasses um, they're still calling it a Kolsch style, which honestly, to me, I did not know. I did not look anything up, but I also didn't know that you could actually have a black, you know, Kolsch style beer. Uh, 
I, I, I don't know. Um, most of the colches that I've had are a lot lighter than that. Um, other than that, I also see that it says specialty grains. Um, I would assume so, because that does smell very malty. Roasted characteristics. A little bit of like a mocha. A little bit of like that roasted uh, chocolate malt. So it smells smooth. It smells creamy. Um, it, it's a very warm day here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up in this, man. Gross. Hmm. Hmm. That's different. Very drinkable. I'll give you this much. Very, very, very drinkable right up off the tip. I do get those roasted characteristics, the roasted malts. I'm definitely, definitely getting those. It's it's all about the roasted malts right now. Um, when you're drinking it, you do get a tad bit of bitterness. There is a little bit of bitterness there. Um, I, I don't see, it could be within the story, but I don't see any type of malts. I don't see any type of hops. I, I'm just, I haven't really, really read the darn thing. Um, but at the same time, um, I do get that mocha. I do get that, uh, like a little hint of a, a, an espresso, um, a little hint of coffee. Um, I'm also getting that chocolate. Um, there is a lot of earthiness to it. Uh, hmm. It's almost like one that I've had before. It almost kind of reminds me of a, uh, how do I want to say this, um, a more roastier version of kind of like uh, um, Sam's Black Lager. Uh, it, it almost reminds me of that. Um, it's almost like I've had this before, um, maybe not by the company, um, but um, somewhere other than I don't know, it just, there's just something about this beer that makes me think that I've had something similar. Oh, I could fit it all in there. Not, not like I could fit anything else in here. Um, it just, it tastes really similar to something else, and I'm going to have to, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue, but at the same time, I can't remember the beer. Um, wow. I like the roasted characteristics. I, I am definitely a black lager fan. I am definitely, um, I would say that I am a fan of this beer. It is really good, but um, when I think of Kolsch, like I said, I think of something, you know, a, a lot lighter in the spectrum color. Uh, but when I come down to this, it almost reminds me a little bit of the... Dubai um, black IPA without the hops. Uh, it's just not as bitter. It's not as hoppy. There is just a little bit of hop press. <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of hop presence there. Um, but at the same time, it, it's it's intriguing. It's very intriguing. Just on the nose, man, you do, you do, you get a lot of roasted malt characteristics. Now, not to drag this on too long, let's go ahead and get a little bit more on this, because this, this is just different to me. Now that I took all that, you know straight off the head there is a little bit of like grassiness there there is a little bit of cattiness um just slightly right before all that roastedness kicks in because you can definitely get a hold of the 
the grassiness, a little cattiness, a little, a little bit of that bitterness. Um, right before all of a sudden you're getting slapped in the tongue uh, and the palate by all this roasted characteristics, it gives a little bit of like a nutty flavor. Um, a little bit of a biscuity odor, or like a bread crust, uh, a burnt bread crust. Um, there's just so much going on here, and yet it's I like it because of its ABV. Um, it is a very drinkable beer, and you're not going to regret it. So with that said, I mean, I I like it. I mean, the rye is there, but it's just it's it's very subtle to me. It's um. It's playing a back part to this beer um, because of so much roasted characteristics here. I would expect the rye to be a little bit more up front and forward and be a little bit, in my opinion, more present. Because with that amount of roasted characteristics in this beer, it's, it's there. You get that little bit of a peppery note in your back into your throat, but it should be more apparent or they just need to cut back on how much roasted malts that they're using with that said man hey man seek it out get it try it i think uh, more people out there would love this beer if they haven't even tried it already but i'm about to get up out of here man this is your beer geek scott white i'm signing out man remember don't drink and drive don't text and drive hey man if you like this review man please rate comment subscribe share this video and i will see you again on the flip side man Peace, produce, I'm out.